In bowl number two, we have one cup of warm water and a teaspoon of yeast. And it's proofed all right. Now we have to add the other ingredients. And for this, I want, oh, about two tablespoons of sugar and a couple tablespoons of olive oil. There we go. And some flour. And here I've got about two and, or two and three quarters cups of unbleached flour. I'm not going to put it all in. I'm going to put most of it in because I just don't know how much it's going to take. And a pinch of salt. So I'm going to get all those little pieces out because I want that. And work this. Now this dough is a very springy dough. And we're going to be, instead of putting this in a cookie sheet in which we have uh, used our spatula to spread the dough, this one is going to be rolled with a rolling pin. Then bring over your bowl again. Let's hear it. Add the olive oil, like so. Take the dough, wipe the bowl again, and then cover it very tightly with another piece of plastic wrap. And now we're going to cover this really tightly and let that rise for about an hour. So now I can take the wrap off. And now, I want to clean up, get rid of this board, get this out of my way. And now I want to put a little bit of flour down on the board and take this right out of the bowl. And now this is a dough that is very, very springy. And it's going to allow us to stretch this. And before I roll that out, I'm going to let that rest just there for a second. Let me show you what I'm going to put that on. See? I'm going to put it on a jelly roll pan, actually. And now all I've done is brush this with a little bit of melted butter. And then I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper over the top, just like that. And that's going to help me get this out later. So I'm going to move that aside. So now I can work my dough. And now what I want to do is roll this out, you see, to fit my jelly roll pan. Now, if you didn't have a jelly roll pan, well, then you could just use a regular cookie sheet. There. That looks good. Now I'm going to bring over my pan, OK, and take the dough and put it right on the pan. And then I'm going to have to stretch this some. Actually, can't do it yet. Nope. This dough is not ready. See what happens when you try to rush something? This has to be much larger. And the reason it has to be much larger is because I have to fit it over the sides of that pan. There. That looks a little better. Let me see. OK, now let me try it. Trial and error in the kitchen. There. Now. OK, so now I really want to stretch this over the pan like so. There, just like that, see? Never, ever rush dough. OK, now I want, oh, about two tablespoons of olive oil over the top. And with a brush, you just want to brush the surface of that very, very gently. You don't want to put any holes in your dough, but if you get a few holes, well, that's OK. You can always patch them. And then here comes the surprise, whole fresh grapes. And that's about two, two and a half pounds. You'll have to have enough to fill whatever size pan you're using, you see. And then spread them out and make sure that you've washed and dried the grapes very well. You don't want to have soggy grapes on the dough. Then a little bit of sugar. Oh, about two tablespoons goes over the top. And then what you need to do is take the dough and pull it towards the center, just like that, you see? And take the other side and bring it right over. And now you can take and just pinch the dough right in the center. You want that dough folded over. Well, then you can do something with those rolled out scraps, you see? You can make little balls and little leaves. The scacciata di vendemia. You can roll out anything really for the top. You want to make grape twigs or whatever. And just 
you know, like this could be like a little grape vine down the center. I'm not going to get him to stick because he's just too springy. Take grapes, or take little balls of dough actually, and start forming grapes and grape leaves. And again, you just do this with a little pastry wheel. And I like to see this on top of this because it just reminds me so much of a fall harvest. You can keep going like that. And then here are some leaves, you see. And add one there. And how about one there? Actually, I'm going to move that over a little bit. That looks a little better. And then add some more balls. Doesn't that look nice? And then for that little hole that I have over on the other side, I'm just going to stick a leaf there because that fell off the whole bunch of grapes in the first place. Here's my egg. Here's my brush. Just want to go over the top, just like that. That dresses that up beautifully, you see? How nice that looks. And you want to be very, very gentle with this because this is just a procedure that cannot be rushed. And when this is baked, of course, the grapes rise a little bit to the surface and almost burst through this dough, but they don't actually burst through it. And, well, then you get out some sugar and you sprinkle this over the top, just like that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? And now that goes into a 400 degree oven. You want to cook this, oh, for about 30 or 35 minutes or just until it's nicely browned on top.